Hello and uh, welcome to Common Grammar with Raymond Benson. Uh, this video series uh, is going to cover small grammar details that we might uh, observe in our day-to-day -day lives, and something that we might misuse or misunderstand or notice that other people are doing. And we're not quite sure if that's right or wrong. And also, it's really not very consequential, so don't worry too much if you're misusing this grammar detail or not. Uh, it, it, in general, it's meant to help you sound a little bit better uh, professionally or more like Kelsey Grammar. <laughs> uh, everybody knows him as being well spoken, so that was a good example, kind of off the bat. Um, so the, the, the grammar detail this um, video is less versus fewer. So this is really the difference between non-count and count words uh, as far as when you're going to use it. So a lot of people generally use the word less in most situations and they're not using the word fewer when it should be used. So when I studied Chinese one of the things that really helped me to understand this concept which I didn't even know was really a big thing before was the use of a major word, and a major word contains a noun that is a non-count noun, and it allows it to be counted. So in the example that we have here, water, we can use bottles to contain the water, and gallons and drops. So you can count one, two, three, four bottles of water, you can count gallons of water, and you can count drops of water, and that way it, you know, will be able to change it from not being able to be counted to being able to be counted. And then other words like time can be contained in units of time, so hours and minutes and seconds. And then abstract notions like caring and interest and happiness, uh, there's not really a direct major word that you can use with that, uh, though you can use indirect statements like um, spare a thought, right? I could, I could, uh, um, you know, I spared fewer thoughts for this than I did that, right? Uh, you're not using the word caring, you're not using, you know, the abstract notion word, but you're implying it by using other words, but uh, you can spare a certain number of thoughts. <laughs> like, I know it's an analogy, but that's pretty much how it's being used. And um, so I have a few examples. I have less water than before, which is, you know, we went over that a little bit ago. You have fewer bottles of water than I did. We now have less time. We should have spent fewer hours on the selection process. Fewer people would have died if something had been done earlier. We cared less about the numbers and more about the process. Less is known about their ancient culture as there are fewer and fewer of their people you can teach us. So that about wraps it up. Uh, if there's anything that you would like me to go over more in more detail, uh, please comment below. Anything, any other grammar details uh, that you might notice in your day-to-day -day lives, I would love to go over it. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick topics that I happen to notice. Uh, and but I'm totally open to any suggestions uh, that people might have. Uh, so, yeah, until next time, this has been a lot of fun, and be sure to wash your hands and be safe out there. Bye.